On average, cats live to about 15 and weigh in at around 4 kilos. This is Lily. She's a 18 month old Bengal that I bred. This is Obi, um, short for Obi Wan Kenobi. This is Kato. Claude's quite a character and um, he has uh, various girlfriends in the district. Does quite a lot of hunting. Well, I want to find out where he gets them all from. That's what I said. <laughs> you go out every night, don't they, and come back and sleep all day, so it'd be quite interesting to see how far they go, really. Mm. My husband thinks he just goes like 10 feet up the woods, but I think he goes a lot further. He used to belong to a lady over the road, uh, but he left home when they got a dog. <laughs> Everyone's gathered in the village hall to meet the scientists and find out more about what the study will involve. We want to get a, a picture of your cat's natural, normal life, so don't do anything different. Don't change your routines, don't lock the cat flap, don't suddenly call up the local handyman and get a cat flap put in. Let the cat do what it usually does and hopefully we will build up this picture of what it's like to be a cat in Chamonix Green. I'll now uh, hand over to Alan, who is the uh, technical expert, among many other things. So what we've come up with... Alan Wilson's task is to devise a new way to track the cats. He's a world expert in tracking wild animals. Go. Where we do most of that work is in Botswana and Africa. So we design and build things like this. This will fit in a lion. <laughs> this will fit on a cheetah or an African wild dog. The technology that Alan has developed for the big cats is an advanced GPS tracker. It tracks the animal's position, speed, and how fast they're accelerating step by step. The collar has got solar panels on the top, it's got electronics in the top here, and then there's the batteries at the bottom and a radio antenna. So this will give us the position of our animals to tens of centimetres, 300 times a second, and how fast they're going. So we actually get very exquisitely fine detail about how, what they're doing, where they're moving, what terrain they're moving in, how they're hunting, when they're successful, and when they aren't. Really is opening up whole new measurements that just weren't possible before with traditional tracking collars. The information he's gathered has transformed our understanding about how these fearsome predators live in the wild. I'm going to turn on the GPS loggers. He now has to do the same for our pet moggies by miniaturising his technology. And today he's testing it out.